A historic locomotive that's carried thousands of passengers on the famous Heber Valley Railroad is about to be, well, reborn. Built originally in 1907, engine number 618 has been undergoing a frame-off restoration. Dan Ruscone takes us inside the story of the 618 and its comeback, Dan. Yeah, Mark, it's not easy trying to bring back a 110-year-old locomotive. The entire machine has to be stripped down and reassembled, and every new part has to be made from scratch. But engineers say it's all worth it. A taste of the Old West. All Here in the town of Heber. Great, thank you guys for coming out. As a famous Heber Creeper is about to roll. It's a journey that has played out hundreds of times over nearly 50 years. Enjoy the ride and enjoy the music, everyone. A three hour round trip train excursion featuring the beauties of the mountains and canyon land. And to spice things up, everybody get your hands in the air. This is a train robbery. There's even an old fashioned train robbery. You better hope we find that money, Bob. But since 2010, get your hands back up there. There has been one major thing missing in all this. And it has to do with what is left back at the shop at the Heber train station. Inside this garage sits number 618. The 1907 steam locomotive. An engine that dates back 110 years. Seven years ago, it was taken off the track. Since 2014, mechanics have been working to bring it back to life. The engine is going through a deep major overhaul. But bringing back a century old locomotive is no easy task. It's a huge, huge project. The work is hard, it's heavy, it's dirty. It takes a long time to get there. It also requires... It's all the individual parts. ...pulling out the old blueprints from the 1900s. Every part has a drawing. Because these kinds of machines are not built anymore, which means you can't just order parts. Where everything has been renewed. You have to make them from scratch. Everything that's for this locomotive is essentially handmade, hand-fitted, and hand-assembled. The 618 was originally built for Union Pacific. They retired it in 1958. It then sat at the Utah State Fairgrounds till 1970. That's the year it came to Heber to help kick off the Heber Creeper line. The other trains now used are diesel engines. Yes, the diesel engine is great, but there's something to be said about an old steam engine that brings back the Old West. We do it for the love of what it is, uh, the uniqueness of what it is. It's, it's a living, breathing, uh, physical way to touch and experience the past. It's, uh, it's unlike any other machine that's out there. An engineer. They're just uh, something about it. Can't wait. Uh, a lot of good memories on the 618. To see the 618. Yeah, it's been a long time. Back on the track. And to get that plume of steam and smoke coming out the stack. Don't know how to describe it. Now, in the ideal situation, the 618 will make its comeback in December of this year. If not, they will have it up and running. By next summer, engineers say when it comes out of the shop, it'll be just like new.